being a black folks and I'm sure that you're probably somewhat amazed too and if you look around and you search the internet basically you, you gotta look for 8.6 because since they took a tick off of the quake and I'm not gonna change the name of my videos and stuff like that but I'm gonna show you if you go looking for real footage of today's the only thing I've been able to see of actual footage of water hitting I think is this one here okay I'm gonna go to this no that's the old 9.0 that's see and you got to look around all I know is if you go to Dutch sense maybe somebody will put the link back in there or send a link to the a comment to a video but there was somebody that was playing volleyball that caught today's uh, there was a wave now this is the 9.0 back probably over in Japan or whatever I'm not even gonna go to it okay but today there was an 8.7 and actually some people in China on the magnometer mag magnometers not even saying it correctly, but on the mags, they caught like at 8.9, and a lot. Of, see this guy here got it at 8. Guy or female, it doesn't matter. Got it at 8.7 also. So, and I showed you the data also, and you can see it here is 8.7, and there was a tsunami and stuff like that. Okay, and there was a wave, but it wasn't very big, and there is some footage out there of it. There is one video, but then see it's kind of getting back door right now too. So now we come back to and I'm showing you also how I'm split because basically we know that we, the counters lie and then the idea that no, no one told you I've been spidered out. And I don't really care if someone is, uh, as long as the name is there, like I've always said before, as long as Beano Black's on it. But as you see, and then that one's 120 counts on this one, you see. So we are spidered out. A lot of the truth is spidered out. As you see, we come down here and you see some of my videos. And you just can't, the, tr the counters are not true at all because I can go to my site right now and I'll show you that the idea that there's way more than 87 views on that and these do update okay and like some people have put into my account that the idea that there is 11,000 likes and 600 dislikes okay 11,000 some pl some 11,600 something likes so there are lots of people's videos and it's not just me lots of people's truthful videos out there are getting quarantined away and spidered away and as you see this one here, it says 87 views. Now watch, I'll go to my account, and and I don't care about it being high or low. What I'm just saying that the way that they spread us out, and they make the counts look low, because then your video it doesn't get looked at that much, because everybody is always, well, what's the most video, what's the, you know, people waste their time with goofy gaga BS, you see what I'm saying? Uh, except it was pretty good when they caught the X guy beating up the flat screen or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So this here and then there's always the government official that has to come in and put the one down vote lately he's came back or her has came back whoever gets that government check uh, I think most all the fans <laughs> anybody that's watching the truth wants to kind of find out where do you work at where does your get the government check at that you send in that one that one bad vote so it doesn't really matter I don't care too much about the counters but it's just uh, I was just looking at the idea of you have a hard time finding the quake on YouTube because different names that people put in. Some people started with the date today, 4-11-2012 and stuff like that. Now there is one out there, and let me see if I can go in and I'm going to go see if I can find it. I'm going to go to Dutch and it, holler out and see if I can get the address. So this is the only video I've been able to see that, that basically says that it's new today. And it's kind of hard to know for sure if it is, but it looks like it. And I think, uh, I haven't been to Skedidl's but basically I'm just promoting them because the idea that it seems like he's the one that got it out today. So I'm trying to back it up and then we'll hit full screen and here you go. You're going to get the wave coming in, the tsunami. At least wherever this guy got this video, whoever got this video. And to the name that we had there and I'll pop back down to the regular size. But he's got standard YouTube on it. So anyway, he caught this. So you'd think some TV station in the country would probably pick up on it. Throw him a couple bones. What the hell, you know. So him or her. I always try to say that. Gotta be politically correct, you know. Ladies. So anyway, they got this good footage and I don't really got the sound going, but the idea that I think hang on and I'll put the sound to it. We'll let it play through with no sound and then I'll pop back and I think I can throw sound on it. It's so basically they got wet and it's pretty much realistic to what we've seen on a lot of the data so warning or not there was some what the 
So here's that one, and he's got like 2,900. Okay, I didn't, wasn't interested in that. We're going to go back. I think that goes through that. Yeah, I'm not much happy about that. You can't look at any video on, and they end up plastering. So anyway, there you go, and I'll pull his, since I took it from his, there you go. And this might disappear, because there's not too much showing of any footage from anybody got a camera, was ready to show it anything. So here he gets the wave coming in. Let me see if I can get the sound. And we'll pop it back. I say folks all the time better lucky than good any day barely missed him so anyway that's the only footage I've been able to pick up so far from uh, the quake okay so anyway just showing you what's going on with how things are getting pushed to the corner actual truth is getting shunned to the backside and if you're someone's in an area like that on a beach somewhere, you got to watch out for your local activity of seismic activity, because. So check out all the latest videos of the truth, all over YouTube, and see what's really going on out there, because we had a big quake today. And let's go to the grass. And if you go back to folks, I kind of gave you a good heads up there. I think we're going to see something interesting. If you go this and watch this one here of mine. I did it in this video here. You'll hear it. Okay. You go watch this one. And you'll get some truth from that video there. So watch that one. Go watch that. Because basically I warned everybody that, I, you know, not not perfect, but the idea that I knew that those objects that were coming by, and you can go and you'll hear it at this one. So watch this video, and you'll hear me tell you there's going to be some interesting high-speed objects coming by Earth. And as they went away, on the 11th here, that as they went away, the magneticism gets us. And I'm not really sure if they've locked or if they've lightened up a little bit. We'll scroll down through them. And I'll so you know that we're at where we're at, and then I'll move over a little bit. We'll square it away and we'll go down through the data. And here we go. And I think they have lightened up a little bit. So basically they were, uh, they may not have, but I'll show you. I'll just pop into anyone here. We'll, we'll get down and we'll probably get with one of the U.S. ones because you'll see that the idea that even in the U.S. these were, it was such a big quake that it registered. Such a huge quake. So, we know that's U.S. there, Alaska, but I, I know there was Tennessee and stuff down here. And we'll just go to the Wilderness Preserve here in Florida. So here we go. We're going to look at the graph, and there you go, folks. We're getting it everywhere. Itchy, scratchy show. A lot of ink. And I'll pop back, and you will see that the idea that it is everywhere. What's actually looked a little solid was with Chile having all those big quakes that they've had, it seems like it has compacted itself pretty good because basically, I think if we get to it, there was something in Chile that wasn't showing as much dark thickness ink all over the place. There, Brazil. There you go. So it might be interesting about the compaction, and we'll see if, the, if it was basically that it's got that date.
So either that or their graph isn't working one way or the other from all the shaking that they've been doing earlier. And if you research, Brazil's been getting shakes like crazy. So maybe their graph isn't working, and maybe all the rest of them are working. Because it's the only one that didn't show deep dark ink everywhere. Just a shake and shake and shake and shake. And so, and they still have got, I'll even go to, we'll go to the quake thing. And the latest was a 5.0. And I can hit now, and we'll refresh a little bit. There might even be another one. But you, and yes, there has been another one. We got a 5.9. Wow, off the coast again. So check this out, folks. There you go. We'll go to USGS and we'll put this up. Just uh, looking at the data, and here we go. We're into a, and off the coast of Oregon, 5.9. So we just shaking. The world is shaking. And we'll pick that up. And we'll see about any tsunami action. First thing is what we want to look at is on that. Let's see what's going on on that. And we should be able to get it out this one. We'll actually better go just go to Pacific. They should show it. And they don't have it mapped yet. They've actually got it for a high-low region. Let's hit that in case it's going the other way. None. At that time. And let's go back and see. The, I got. I didn't pay attention. I was just, just shooting this video now. Just basically looking at the data, and bam, and there it is, and there it is. So let's go back to there, and then we'll hit the West Coast Alaska one. And we'll see, no watch warning or advisory in effect, and it does have it highlighted, so we should be able to get a data sheet on it. It's a different map. I've never seen that. Well, I kind of have seen that map before, but anyway. Standard information, Pacific Daily Time, the earthquake, from the magnitude, so they don't have a tsunami information statement issued or it. And we hit that. So we're more, most interested in that. And there you go. That's your what to go by. So basically they're saying that they don't have nothing. So it's a quick preliminary magnitude. Went north, the west coast of Oregon. So this is a tsunami is not expected. So there you go. And yes, I think anybody being smart is not to not to and keep an eye out because you really kind of don't know because they pulled that one off of course it wasn't US coastal okay but doesn't really make a big difference you know so there you go last major tsunami was in they don't like that info and you know I don't cut in right there was the last major one. I don't know. I don't know if I click on that, if I get history on that, but you can research the history of that and actually this one here also. So basically when they're closer right up on the coast, on the shelf, I guess, of the plates. So but as you see location wise, that's a little it's getting it's getting it's getting watch it. It's getting watch it. Okay? I don't care what anybody says. It's it's watch it time. It's keep an eye on the crap time. Okay? So Anyway, we'll get out of there and I'll see what we get when we hit that window since I got so much information on it. And there you go. So they put the maps out real fast. So almost seems they got some kind of data going on in that picture over here to Hawaii. So I don't know if it's stretched over there like that or what. Let's go back to. So anyway, live. You can refresh and hit now on this, but you got a 5.9 off the Oregon coast and then a 5.9 or 3.9. 3.9, and then we can go to that and we'll see what's going on at. So bing to bang to boom, 3.9 aftershock after that 5.9. And I don't know if it's going to read on here yet. And then we got a 5.3 off the shore of California. So we got stuff going on, majorly going on. Let's go to tsunami information. That they don't even have tsunami information on that one. I don't know if it's that fresh. We go to the map and see if it's got a map on it already. And that's just going to be taking us to a window. So we know by seeing it on here anyway. So, but. Uh, as we get this, we can hop down and we'll see where she's at. 
Encino, California, over by Fort Bragg. Now, the interesting thing there is to make sure that you watch that map. I've told people this is close to Fort Bragg and the idea that San Jose Air